Welcome back everybody to the Artist Developments Workshop. My name is Sammy Galley, and today I want to teach you about E style chords, A style chords, and C style chords. Before we move forward, a couple of basic rules that we need to know. These are frets. The area between these two bars is what the fret is. When you're playing your notes, I don't want you to press on the actual metal, I want you to press in between it, somewhere in between, preferably in the middle, but you can also press somewhere in between. What I also want you to remember is between the nut and the bridge, which is this white area over here and this white area over here, that is the length of your string, okay? As you put down your finger on the fret, of course the string gets shorter. This, for example, here, that is the length of the string. That is the length of, of that string. So the nut represents as if somebody has their finger pressing down on all of the strings, making this the length of the string. If I were to put my finger down over here, that means that this area is the length of the string. So over here, it's as if somebody's putting their finger down over here. So every chord that you play within the first three frets of the guitar can also be played with an imaginary finger that's right here. So what I'd like us to do is I want us to call this the invisible fret or fret zero. So that's fret zero, fret one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Also, thumb is your first finger. I know some people say the thumb isn't a finger, but your hand has five fingers. I know four fingers and a thumb, but let's call it this number one, your index finger number two, your middle finger number three, your ring finger number four, and your pinky finger number five. So when you're playing your E major, your third finger goes on the second fret, second string, your ring finger goes on the second fret, third string, and your index finger goes on the first fret, fourth string. And there's your E major. Now the tonic of your E major is E. Now where's the first E in the lowest E that you have? On the first string. So let's pretend that your index finger is holding down all of these strings. How would you play your E major? You'd have your ring finger on the second fret, your pinky on the second fret, third string, and your middle finger on the first fret of the fourth string. So it would be like this. Remember the tonic is your first string. Now what happens if I push everything up by a half note, which is a fret up? If the tonic in this chord was the first string here, then would it not make sense that the tonic of this chord would be here? So what is this note? It's F, because each fret represents a half note on the keyboard. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, E major. sharp major, G major, G sharp, A major, A sharp major, B, C, and so forth. Same thing works with minors, E minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor, G sharp minor, A minor, A sharp minor, B minor, C minor, and so forth. So, to get any E style chord, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna find the tonic on the first string. Let's say, for example, I want you to play an A minor E style. So where's the tonic, the A, on the E string? E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A. Second thing you do is you bar the tonic fret. So there's the A, so let's bar this fret. Then you build your E chord. And there's your A minor. There's your A major. Let's do another example. Let's say I wanted a G major E style. E, F, F sharp, G. You find the tonic on the first string, you bar the tonic fret, and you build your E chord. That's a G major E style. G minor E style. Let's do one more. C major E style. We know that that's G, we know that that's A, A sharp, B, C. Bar that fret, create your E chord, 
there's your C major. So that sounds, that should sound like your C major down here. There it is. And that's how you play an E style chord. So to repeat, find the tonic on the first string, bar the tonic fret, build your E chord. So now we've learned how to do E style chords, let's do A style chords. As the E style chords, we found out that the tonic is on the first string, which is E. With A style chords, the tonic is on the second string, which is A. So just uh, as we said before, each fret on the guitar represents a half note on the keyboard. So A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, and so forth. One quick thing to remember is on different guitars, you've got, I don't know if you can see this guy, it's way over here. There are dots on the frets. Typically, the first dot happens on the third fret. One, two, three. And then the second dot on the fifth fret. The next dot on the seventh fret. And it's really good to remember that on the first string, the third fret is a G, the fifth fret is an A, and the seventh fret is a D. On the second string, the third fret is a C, the fifth fret is a D, and the seventh fret is an E. It's going to be really relevant for A style chords, because if you know where you're going, then you can um, benchmark from there. So A style chords, the tonic is on the second string. So let's go to an A minor. Just like your E major, it's just down by one string. So number three on the second fret, third string, your ring finger on the second fret, fourth string, and your index finger on the first fret of the fifth string. As we said, imagine there's there's a finger on the invisible fret, the left. So if that's an A minor, what would this be? The second string. If the tonic on the A minor is an A, which is the second string, that would be the tonic on this chord, which is up by a half note. And what would that be? A, A sharp, or B flat. A sharp minor, B flat minor, B minor, C minor, C sharp minor, D minor, D sharp or E flat minor, E minor, F minor, F sharp minor, G minor. Same would work with the majors. A major, B flat major, B major, C major, C sharp major, D major, etc., etc. That's how you play an A style chord. So what are the steps? Just like with an E style chord, in an A style chord, you find the tonic. Let's say, for example, I wanted a B minor A style. So you find the tonic, the B, on the second string. So first, the invisible fret, that's A, A sharp, B. Then you bar the tonic fret. And then you build your A style chord. Now with an A style chord, because the tonic is on the second string, you want to make sure that you don't play the first string first. You want to play. You want to start with the second string. There's your E minor. Let's find the D minor, A style. So what's the tonic of a D minor? D. So let's find the D on the second string. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D. There it is. Fifth fret. You bar that fret, then you build your A chord. There's your D minor. There's your D. So that's how you find an A style chord. Find the tonic on the second string, bar the tonic fret, and build your A chord. All right, cool. So we have found out how to find E style chords. We found out how to find A style chords. Now let's take a look at C style chords. So your basic C major involves the notes C, E, and G. Your ring finger goes on the third fret of the second string, which is a C. Your middle finger goes on the second fret of the third string, which is an E. And your index finger goes on the first fret of your fifth string, which is a C. If you play, you're actually playing C, E, G, C, E. Okay? And you think he's not doing anything. Now, of course, you can play this with the ring finger on the G, which is the third fret of the first string and your pinky on the third fret of the second string, but just for this example, let's not. Now, as I said with E style chords or A style chords in the beginning, I said any of the chords in the first three frets, you can have 
a bar on the invisible fret. So how would we play this chord with a bar here? We'd have the pinky on the third fret second string, your ring finger on the second fret of the third string, and your middle finger on the first fret of the fifth string. Now, what's the tonic of a C major? It's C. Where's your lowest C? It's where your pinky is. It's the second string, but your pinky is playing that. So if I were to shift everything here up by a half note or one fret, what would I get? The tonic, which was here, would move up by one. So what is this note? Well, if, it, if that's C, that would be a C sharp, which makes this a C sharp major. Let's move up. D major, D sharp major, E major, F major, F sharp major, G major, G sharp major, A major. So to find a C style chord, you want to find the tonic on the second string. So let's say, for example, I want to find an F major. Let's find the F on the second string. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F. You want to put your pinky on the F. Build your C style chord. So you put your ring finger on the fret below it, one string down, and you want to put your middle finger two strings down, one fret below, and then you want to bar the fourth fret down. It's a little bit more complicated than the E and the A style chords, but still easy enough. Just remember your C style, and you put your pinky where the tonic is, build your C chord, and then bar the fourth fret down. So let's do another one. I want to get an E flat major, E flat or D sharp. So we know that that's C, third fret, C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Put your pinky, build your C style chord. Bar the fourth fret down. Good. E flat major. One last one. Let's do uh, G sharp C style. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Put your pinky on the G sharp, build your C style chord, bar the fourth fret down, and there's your G sharp major. As with A style chords, because the tonic is on the second string, the tonic is still on the second string in a C style chord, so don't play the first string, play the second string. And that is your C style chord. So to recap, to play a C style chord, find the tonic on the second string, put your pinky on the tonic, build your C style chord, and then bar the fourth fret down. So a C style chord is always going to cover four different frets. Cool? Try it out.